to add a header or a footer, go into cells, setup, got headers and footers there, but we'll do a footer just as an example, highlight that area. There might be two or three already in there already, so if you want to create a new one, press new, give it a description. and then add your terms and conditions. Now you can copy and paste from a Word document, but you can't copy and paste from a PDF. Uh, it just won't show up when you're doing the print. So I've already done one already. So that's just a general one. Obviously yours will be in there. You've got all your bank details. Once you've done that, press OK. Now if you want to set up that up for specific customers all the time, then you go into your customer list. Uh, if you're creating a new one, then you can create the new one, or if you've got one already, you just go in there anyway. So you, in your default setting, at the top you've got documents quotation, so once you click that, you get all your ones that you've done already. So you just click that. Obviously, you go through the stages as normal. Then once you do a new quote, put in the address, lines, Change, do whatever you need to do with, with the design itself. Once you've finished the quote, you go into reports, quotation, print preview. Obviously, your header and everything there, and then the terms and conditions will be at the bottom. Now on this you've got a deposit required so if you want to amend that then you go into documents which is up on the top corner and you can see there there's an edit button so you can go in there and add 5,000 depending on how big the job is Okay, exit that, ports, quotation, the preview, and it changes the actual item itself. If you want to change the header for this particular one, then you go back into there and then you can actually select a different one if you wanted to, just for this particular customer. The next time you do one for this customer, it'll revert back to this one because that's your default setting, but you can change it as you're going along. This is a 2020 version. On an older version, the document could be somewhere else. I'll just do a quick one. If you look on there you've got documents and your footer will be there and obviously this has changed slightly now so if you need to modify you just pick one, modify and then go into that and it will modify like I've done previously. Thank you.